IDU is, so the whole year we have normal classes, you know, your four core classes, your two applied, but then at, starting May 1st, we have the IDU Ritner, and so basically you go through your core classes again, but like you, you're mixed in with the seventh graders, and you learn about your city, and then at the end of the IDU, you have this giant project. Yeah. So the IDU is a big chunk of your grade. Yeah, and it kind of incorporates all of the classes, so you work on it in every class, mm -hmm. but there's different aspects to it. Like, you wouldn't work on the same part of the project in social studies that you do in math, and uh, it's a good way to kind of socialize and learn how to work with other people because you're mixed in with people that you would not have in any of your other classes at this point. Yeah, My it's it's a lot of work. You have awesome. to really like focus. Yeah, and you have to lead yourself and know mm -hmm. what you're gonna do when and like plan everything out. If you're a slacker and you don't use all the time that they give you, you're gonna have loads of homework. Yeah. I yeah. still I did everything on time. We we were partners last year, we did everything on time and we still had to yeah. go home and Yeah, like we still did homework. it at home. So like they mm -hmm. teach you self direction, like through classes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not like you're just kinda like, What do I do? That's yeah. what I thought. It was always kind of a build up to the IDU mm -hmm. throughout the year. So you have to like really work towards it. It's kind of mm -hmm. everything is leading up to the IDU. Yeah. Um, I like the freedom that the IDU gives you. So you can learn about basically anything you want. Because last year they gave you a list of all these cities that you could choose from. Yeah. And my partner and I thought, well, we'd like to do this city that's not on the list. And we went over it with the teachers and so we got to do it and it kind of gives you this huge choice that yeah. you can do whatever you want people work so hard on this mm -hmm. project i saw so many people that i didn't expect have amazing projects yeah. last year yeah and it kind of shocked me and i think that's pretty cool yeah. i would say the idea you almost changes you in a way it mm -hmm. makes you a better learner i think it prepares me for high school in a way that Core classes can't do that, you know, and I think yeah. the IDU is just something cool that most people don't experience. Yeah. It teaches you how to kind of be organized, because like, you have to be organized and you have to hand things in on time. Now we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit more creative. There are two main, uh, there are actually three main components to this IDU. So everyone take a look at what it says at the very top. So you'll see a little table at the very top where it says student name and then some stuff. Those are the categories that we're going to grade that you are going to be getting grades in. So no longer are you going to is it going to be social studies, all of the assignments in social studies with an average. Every class you're going to have an assignment that says clear and effective communication with a grade on. Every class you're going to have an assignment that says self direction. One that says responsible and involved citizenship. You'll have a learning target for social studies, math, science, and English. And then finally, you'll have one category that is your trimester three grade to date, what it is right now. On Monday, the grade book will be updated and we'll actually look at Power School together and take a look at what is gonna, what is gonna, what's gonna be there. But it's gonna look something like that. So now, everything you do in class is going to be tagged with one of these things. So let's say, uh, well, so for example, at the end of every week, you are going to be graded on your citizenship participation. We're going to use Schoology to track how well you're doing as a citizen during the IDU, and you'll get a, and we'll show you how to check your progress. Schoology is going to track how clearly you are communicating. So every class, math, science, social studies, English, will be giving assignments that will have something to do with communication. We'll be watching you during our project time to see how well you're working with others. We'll be taking note of how self-directed you are in this process, and we'll be giving you scores for it. And then you'll be able to go to Schoology and track where you are. So if you take a look, we have weekly grades down here. The first one is participation. We have a scale for you. 
On the back, we have initiative, self-direction. Those are the two main things that we're going to grade on you every week. Your participation in class, and the initiative you show doing the work. 